Have you ever seen anything hateful, harassing, or otherwise upsetting while on social media? And do you think platforms should be doing more to stop it? If so, you're not alone. Eight in 10 Americans agree that platforms should be doing more. So why don't they? What's so hard about removing problematic content? I'm here to tell you that removing the content is part of the problem. And I'm going to do so by focusing on hate speech in particular. Hate speech is any type of content which intends to harm, humiliate, or otherwise denigrate a target population. Most often targeted are historically oppressed populations, but hate can target any group, any of them, that goes against our shared interests. So how can removing this content make it worse? Let me tell you the story of Dave. Dave recently got kicked out of a school board meeting for lashing out against AP African American History or African American Studies. So what did he do? He took to Twitter, of course, and he said some things on Twitter that should not be said in this room or on Twitter. So he got suspended. Dave was mad. Now he's furious and he's gonna tell all his friends about it. They suspended my account. They're indoctrinating our children and they're out to get us. But he can't do it on Twitter. He has to use another platform, Parler a social media platform that doesn't care what Dave has to say, but defends his right to say it. And his friends agreed, we're in danger. So how big of a problem is this? Using hundreds of millions of online posts, my research reveals that removing Dave from Twitter makes him 10% more hateful on Parler and 5% more likely to spread hateful conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories that his peers are now 30% more likely to spread on Twitter. Combining social science and big data, my research aims to strike a balance between freedom of speech and societal safety. So we can design policies that, better inform, that are better informed by Dave's radicalizing power, both on the platform and off. Thank you.